Hey guys, so let's unbox and test out the brand new Makita Subcompact Drill Driver Kit. All right, the model number for the kit is XFD15SY1B. So let's unbox this, test this out, and see how this actually is. It's a $160 kit, comes with a drill driver, one battery, charger, and a bag. And the tool dimensions is 5.78 inch long, and it is 2.9 pounds. It has two speed settings. First speed is zero to 500 RPM, and at speed two, it is zero to 1700 RPM. It does not save the torque. So let's unbox this and uh, test this out. A three year warranty to, uh, for tool and battery. It's a black bag, it is not your traditional teal color. Uh, it seems like, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that seems like a pretty waste of space. They probably could have put this in a smaller box. All right, this tool is brand new. I'm excited to test this out. It is a half inch metal chuck with a plastic housing. It does come with a 1.5 amp hour battery. 1.5 amp hour battery. There is no battery indicator uh, on the battery itself. They do for the two amp hour and higher. There we go. This video will be using a three amp hour battery. See how well this does. It is uh, 20 point, well, it, it, it actually skips numbers. All right, so it is a 20 point clutch plus one, which the plus one is drill. It's a nice ratcheting clutch. There is drill. So once again, the model number for the tool is XFD15, 18 volt system. Like I said, it's 500 RPMs on speed one, 1700 RPMs on speed two. You already saw what the torque is. It's a nice compact, it is a nice compact tool. Let's compare the size to the Milwaukee M12. It actually is far more compact than the M12. So yeah, so versus the video coming up with M12 uh, 12 volt tools and against the sub other subcompact tools from other brands. So let's test this out and see how this could actually perform. It is a nice little tool, I, I like it. All right, so this is a subcompact tool, so I'm not expecting this to do great things. I just want, we are just gonna test out on how powerful this is based on its size, because this it really is a very compact tool. It really is. All right, let's do a six inch by eight inch lag first. Ready, go. Maybe I'm gonna let this uh, run for like 30 seconds. All right, let's actually take that out and do that again. Because it is a brand new tool, so it might just need to be worn in a tad bit. Right, let's do it again. Ready? Go. Time. It happens sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes a tool needs to be broken in just a little bit to be able to do something. All right, let's take it out. Ready? Go. No problem. No problem. Oh, and sorry, the battery battery is full. We're gonna do it right here because this side is has the the length for it. All right, so ready? Go. You can do it. Oh, I cut out. That might be a bit too much for this. Give it another pull. Let's try it again. Ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Right, let's try a six inch specs. We are using Hilti nut setter bits. Ready? Go. Oh. Well, we'll do that again. I, I, I slept. One more time. And one thing I will say is I could feel the clamshell separating a little bit. That is a little disappointment. The 
it, the clamshell is separating a little bit. I can feel it. Ready? Go. Time. Just have to put enough, enough pressure for the, the bit to stay on there. Let's take it out. Ready? Go. Yeah, it is disappointing that you feel the clamshell separating. I do wish this was tool only because it, I, it, this is a $160 kit. Let's do a four inch by half inch leg. Ready? Go. Ooh, oh, sorry, my bad. I gotta switch it to speed, uh, speed one. Speed one is required. Ready? Go. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit too, that is gonna be a bit too much for this tool. Uh, way too much for this tool. I'll give it one more shot. All right, ready? Go. Yeah, a four inch lag, uh, a four inch by a half inch lag is too much for the tool, but it's a subcompact tool, which that is not a problem. We're gonna do a versus video later on against the Ryobi, because as you can see, when it comes to size, there isn't that much of a difference in size. Yeah, the Ryobi is a little bit thicker, but you know, the it's not seriously like, a, it's not dramatic. It's not as dramatic as the M12, so. Uh, well, we will be doing auto versus videos between these two, but I'm really not disappointed with this uh, performance because it is a sub compact tool and maybe it might do better with a different battery, but I'm pretty sure that with a 1.5 amp hour battery that the kit comes with won't be able to do what I just did here or it does it slower. So let's take it out. Yeah, I might not be able to take it out. There we go. So yeah, but it is a it is a nice subcompact tool, and uh, yeah, it has a single LED underneath the clutch and chuck. It's not too shabby, but do I think this is worth 160 bucks? Uh, well, it, it is a kit. It comes with a charger bag and a battery, but if you already have batteries, I just try to get this tool only. But more videos coming on this, you guys. It is not it is, it is not a bad buy. It ha it does have its own purpose. It's not supposed to be their most powerful tool or even their mid-range tool. It's a subcompact tool. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.